It's a beautiful autumn day in this empty parking lot. Tesla Model 3 V10 software. It's Saturday, October 5th. And I've got the app right here. And I'm going to press and hold the come to me button. The car turns on and proceeds to navigate a safe path to me. It should avoid all, you know, grass and islands and all that. And let's see how the car does. That's my responsibility to make sure it doesn't hit any curbs or hit anything. A little bit hesitant, but it's, it's several feet away from the curb. If I let go of the button at any time, the car immediately stops in well under a second for my testing, if you have decent internet. So the car is going around the grass island there. And heading my way safely, slowly. There's actually a GoPro on board there, so you'll be able to look at the footage from inside the car. It'll be kind of fun. Now as it gets close to me, I notice it slows down quite a bit and turns. Parking brake set and it's finished. And that's it. You've never seen a demonstration of that. There's a very straightforward, successful example of the car getting about 15 feet from me and stopping. Now, if anyone moved in front of the vehicle, even though my finger was pushing on the button, the car would stop. What's fun about this is not so much as practicality uh, at the moment. I'm not particularly interested in using this in a busy parking lot. It's more about self-driving feature where it's using the onboard cameras of the car to calculate a safe path to get to me. And um, it's just a peek at the future. And I'm gonna show the summon feature here. And if we look, we'll see it's calculating a path to me and it goes right through the concrete barrier, so that's not so great. But I think it'll do just fine. Stay with me here, watch what happens. Go to target. Car starts up. There's no driver in there, as you can tell. I can push and hold my finger on the, bu on the button here, otherwise the car would stop. And there you go, it recalculated the path safely around the concrete there. And it doesn't want to do a very tight turn, so it's doing a K turn as needed. I'm okay with that. It seems to be staying at least 15 feet away from all concrete or so. Well, now it's about 8 feet away. It's doing fine. It's cautious. And here it goes. Let's see how it does. Calculating a path to get to me. Get thought about backing up, then it decided to turn its blinker on, and now it's going around the island. And it's gonna have to do a K turn. Uh, I let go of the button, that was a mistake. Let's try that again. Whenever you get nervous, I let go of the button. That's a good thing, the car just stops, right? Okay, now it's doing just fine. Let's watch the car navigate its way to me. See the GoPro camera in there, no driver. It's a spooky feeling. It feels like I'm driving a large electric remote control car. Pretty much like the rechargeable batteries I buy for my remote control cars when I was like a 10 year old. Okay, it executed that turn perfectly. It didn't even do a K turn this time. Uh, that's pretty cool. I did a similar test earlier and uh, did a K turn. Beautiful. Waiting for pedestrian. It saw me moving and stopped. Waiting for pedestrian, let's back up a little bit. Wow. Parking brake set, summon complete. That was an awesome test. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed that video, thank you for watching.